Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, as always, great to as see always. you. What's missing from today's episode? What's that? The robotic arms. They're all oh, yeah. gone. Now You're we've right. got stands. We're stands. slowly progressing uh, to a true, yeah. true podcast yeah. web show. Yeah. So it's great. So Absolutely. this is the show where you will learn all kinds of crazy stuff about WordPress. We're going to put plugins head to head, themes head to head, all kinds of wacky stuff. Uh, do subscribe at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe mm-hmm. or subscribe somewhere on the new YouTube page. It's out. They change it every week, so depending on which week you view this will depend on where that subscribe button is. That's right. So today we continue our series of membership plugins for WordPress. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at Restrict Content Pro uh, by Pippin Williamson and Paid Membership Pro uh, by Jason Coleman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, So let's first start and and say that we're going to look at Pippin Williamson's plugins, Restrict Content Pro, uh, and his free plugin as well. Right. So it's important to note because they're two entirely different plugins. So originally when we looked at this, we go on his on his website, very popular guy in WordPress community, pippinspluggins.com. Very, very um, uh, known uh, plugin developer. So very cool stuff. We go on his website and we find restrict content under the free plugin. So you go in there. Uh, note this is not technically what we're really looking into. And the reason for that is it's very, very, um, it's much more limited to the actual design of WordPress. What we mean by that is um, the typical roles or users uh, that you'd have on your website, whether it be an administrator or an editor, an author or a subscriber, those are the levels that you're really going to be editing and restricting content to. Mm-hmm. I think it's more of like a housekeeping thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if you don't want me to, to see the comments, the horrible comments I'm getting or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you would restrict that section from me as, you know, an author, an editor or whatever the, my role is. Yep. And you would do that through each page or post. So that's what that plugin does. It's a very, very basic plugin. It does a kind of an entirely different thing. Mm-hmm. But it's free. And it is free. Yep. Um, his actual plugin, Restrict Contents Pro, which we're going to talk about more in depth right now, is a whole different story. And this is like we've been talking about a membership plugin uh, in every sense of the word. And you do pay for it. So it is $30 for a regular use if you're using it for one particular client. Or if you're a developer and you want to sell it as part of a theme or, you know, as a bundle package when you sell products to your customers, you can pay $150 for the extended license. Uh, and you actually download it through um, a Code different Canyon. Uh, Code Canyon. Thank yep. you. Yep. Uh, you're, you download it through Code Canyon. So you actually don't download it through Pippin's plugins, um, which is interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. But that's where you go to get it. And we'll have the link, I'm sure, provided for you to get it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about sort of some of the stuff that, yeah. it, that it offers? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I like the fact that he puts out a free plugin. Like you said, it's a very right. focused use case. It's going to be for the, um, the existing roles that are built into WordPress. Yeah. Uh, maybe under the hood, you could probably add, if you add other roles, maybe it'll fall in line with that and right. it'll work with those added roles that you might okay. add. Uh, but it's not a all-inclusive GUI interface where you're going to go in and be able to add these roles for free. Right. You probably have to do a little work under the hood, uh, but it's really quick and really simple to start restricting that yes. basic level of content, yes. which is good. And uh, again, we always go back to ecosystems. Yep. I like putting both of these plugins head-to-head because they are both essentially, he has his free offering and then Paid Membership Pro is right. free. You just pay for service, uh, right. support. Excuse we'll me. talk about that in a minute. We'll talk yeah. about that. Uh, but it's great, and his restricted content pro plugin only thirty bucks. Yeah, you get a whole slew of yeah. features. Um, Tons. The only thing that they're both missing out on is the Boop. drip content, uh, which is super important when we're doing marketing. And if you mm-hmm. if you are a marketing uh, blogger or company, uh, it's always a great feature to have your members receive uh, content mm-hmm. every other day, every week or month, however you're kind of structuring yeah. your stuff. We spent a lot of time talking about that in the last couple of videos. We really <laughs> highlighted Magic Members. If you have a chance, do check out that video. It's fantastic. Um, and Magic Members is, a, is the way to go there. This is definitely going to be more a conversation of completely restricting content from people to see on or enabling them to see it, depending on their subscription level. Something else I should point out, these two guys, these two authors, they're very accessible. So you can find them on Twitter. You can find them yep. on WordPress.org. Mm-hmm. I know Pippin has uh, a super active forum. The other day he mm-hmm. tweeted out that he made his, like, number 3,000 support posts on yeah. his, on his yeah, forum. Right. So these guys are active, and mm-hmm. these two... Um, have their own ecosystem. They're doing really well from themselves yes. for themselves, but they are the brand. Yes. So I guess if you are maybe a developer and you want to connect with these guys mm-hmm. and you're working on a project and you just want to mm-hmm. have that accessibility, or if you're starting out and you want to say, hey, look, uh, you know, I want to kind of have that personal support right. feel, it's a great right. way to 
to connect with these guys because yeah. I mean they're the face of the product. Yeah, they're like the rock stars, you know, yeah. the WordPress rock stars. Yep. <laughs> um, so uh, really good things to say about the Pippin Williamson plugin. Uh, you know, I, I'm happy with the features that I see. Yeah, uh, it is pretty standard. It looks pretty, uh, you know, clean and organized. Yes. and like we said, it's a very important workflow. Yeah, uh, workflow mm-hmm. is very important with membership plugins. Yep. Uh, One thing I, I I did see that I that I kind of highlighted here, um, and I don't know if this is maybe you can enlighten me. Um, there's it's really cool though you're restricting the content, it still lands on SEO which I thought was very interesting. Mm-hmm. So the way it works, and I don't know if this is how all of these work, and it's just Pippin was the one that brought it to light for mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. but it's really cool that if you want your website to land, you can actually, you can actually the content that people can't see mm-hmm. still lands on Google, but mm-hmm. when you click on the link from Google, if you're not mm-hmm. a member, you can't access it. You have to pay for it. Ah, okay, so cool. it's still getting, it's getting indexed it's in Google. It's getting indexed. I didn't pick up on that. Yeah. I didn't see that. I didn't yeah, notice yeah. that. That's interesting. It was yeah. very interesting. I don't know if they all do that or not, but he mentioned it, so I thought it was... That, yeah, that his does it. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, and there might be options for folks uh, for the other plugins mm-hmm. to to not index mm-hmm. certain content, um, but that's an interesting um, way of looking at. It. Again, yeah. that's an, another workflow thing. That's how this developer right. thought that membership plugins should work. Right. And you know, why not? Don't lose out on you know some of that Google juice if you can get <laughs> it nowadays. Um, All eighty eight point eight percent of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Pay membership pro. Oh, did you want to say something else about the about his plugin, Pippins? No, I think we're going to talk about sort of a comparison between their ecosystems okay. with regards to pricing in a second. But do you want to jump into Paid Memberships Pro as well? Yeah. So um, I really liked uh, uh, Magic Members. Yes. I liked how their um, you know their interface was. Tons of options and a really clean, right. um, you know, concise interface. Mm-hmm. Paid Membership Pro really rivals that, and I, right. and I like that. It's right. it's super clean. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of overwhelming features. Right. Again, this is a free plugin, right. uh, and if you want support, it's that ninety-seven bucks uh, yeah. a year, yeah. which will get you support and get you updates as they mm-hmm. come out. Yes. Um, so I think for a free level, tons of options. Yeah. Um, you know, a little bit more than that free level from Pippin, but Pippin's Pro uh, plugin is only thirty bucks. Yeah. You know, so it's it's kind of you it's know, kind of tough and one or yeah. the other. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like how it's set up. I like how mm-hmm. it's organized. Um, membership level is very clean. You can yeah. uh, restrict content by category. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can set up and, and structure all the different pages, yeah. the account page, the billing page, yeah. cancel page, checkout page, all the yeah. different pages that people are going to interact with when they're signing up. Right. Uh, and payment gateways. Right. Um, easy access, clean yeah. and easy access to the different payment gateways yeah. uh, that you can set up. Yeah, and they'd use uh, PayPal, Authorize. Mm-hmm. Um, they use Stripe as well. Yeah. Yep. So all the all the sort of common options today. Yeah. Same thing with Pippin. He has mm-hmm. uh, little add-ons in yes. his ecosystem for the different gateways. Right. I know I specifically saw a Stripe payment gateway. And right. We all love Stripe. Add-on, we use it yeah. here. Absolutely. Um, so it's, you know, it's an awesome, awesome thing. Uh, a little quickly, uh, the Restrict Content Pro also has other add-ons uh, for things like MailChimp, um, Math Recaption, just like little cool, little little quirky things you, mm-hmm. can, you can add to your plugin to give it more, more legs. Mm-hmm. Uh, each each plugin has discount codes built in. Yes, uh, which is good for again marketing purpose, sale mm-hmm. purposes, tracking uh, you know different uh, you know initiatives that you're doing out on the web. Yeah. Coupons are a great way to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, I mean they they had a lot in common, which I thought was great. I'm, it's nice when we have a head to head like last week where it was just sort of such a one sided victory. It's yeah. nice to have these head to heads where these plugins are are very very similar. So I mean a lot of similarities. Uh, you can export both databases of your customers mm-hmm. uh, to a CSV file to use elsewhere, um, in whatever database software you're going to use for it. They have both have recapture, which is nice. So no no bots on our website, please. Yeah. Um, email forwarding options. Obviously, uh, Restrict Content Pro goes through Mailchimp, and I believe I forgot exactly what Paid Membership Pro used, but uh, they both have options there for 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 mail and for sending emails and whatnot. And they both didn't have content drip, which is also pretty interesting. They yeah. were both very much centered around just re- straight up restricting uh, content from pages. Um, a little bit before the show, we talked about um, the payment models. I don't know if you want to jump back to that a little bit. Yeah. Because they both work completely differently. And initially, when I, I, I have written the notes here that I thought it was kind of strange how Paid Memberships Pro is a free plugin but you pay for the support. And I never really thought about that model as a viable model. Mm-hmm. But as we've been sitting here talking about it, and as I was thinking about my escapades, it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Yeah, you know? I mean, because essentially that's what you're doing. With a lot of plugins, they're not like an app on a phone right. or, a, or an iOS app where you know, a lot of major releases come out you know, every other month right. or something like that. Right. 
a lot of the stuff is, you know, once it's out, it works. You know, if there's some major releases, yeah, you're going to have a lot of premium plugins that come out with some major releases. Right. But in the, you know, in the grand scheme of things, a lot of this stuff is core function. Gravity Forms is a contact form. Yeah. Um, you know, WooCommerce has payment gateways that you pay for, but those really don't update. It's yeah, you're not going to, it's not going to change and, tomorrow. Right, yeah. it's not going to change tomorrow. Um, of course, there's a, you know, a case with membership plugins could change a lot depending on the features, but realistically, you're paying for that support. Right. So why not give the, the his, his model is why not give the plugin for free, let people play with it and use it. If they have questions and they, and they really need my support to do things, uh, to, right. you know, to make changes or, or fixes, right. it's 97 bucks for the year. I mean, we're right. not talking a whole lot of money. Right. So under, under $10 a month, yeah. you, know, you get support. And then they also do have an option. I do want to call out uh, $497, which the way I just said it makes it sound like a lot. But I mean, if you're somebody who just wants to get it done, get it, can I get it worked, that will allow him to come in and install it. Right, professionally for you, so it's good to go. Right, I mean it's fine, and and even states that it's under the Do It For Me program or or package, you know, up to five hours of consultation and hands-on development. That's awesome. That's under that's like a hundred bucks an hour, your typical standard rate, and you're getting the plugin installed and all that other stuff. I mean, for many people, I mean, you're going to pay that ninety-seven dollars. That may be your support included in that too. That five hours may be enough to get you out the door and understand the whole plugin. Right. Um, Particularly, one thing I wanted to mention that sort of kind of changed my mind about it. It was cool because in this model, and this may be something you want to think about if you're going to be selling this or selling something like this to a client yourselves, is when I went on Google and searched for these membership plugins, as I do to, to see you know mm-hmm. which ones we're going to talk about, things like that, right? Yep. which ones people are really raving about, Pay Membership Pro shows up everywhere. And I wonder if, almost wonder if that's because, because it's a free plugin, just download it, try it out. And then that leads to, oh, well, I, I tried this plugin, Paid Memberships Pro, out, and it was pretty cool. You should check it out. And it sort of word spreads that way, and it was all over Google. So yeah. that's sort of why I, I sort of kind of came to, if you will, from the <laughs> Yeah, no, it's an, inter- it's an interesting concept. If, if you're a developer or designer out there, you're putting out themes or plugins, that's yeah. a great model that, that you might want to look at is, you know, can I – is, does I do my does my plugin have enough value for folks that that want it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if so, you know, can I charge people right off right off the bat? Am I yeah. brand new to this ecosystem of of selling things? Right. Uh, if I'm not, maybe I'll give it out for free, let people use it. And oh, by the way, if you need support, it's just only gonna, it's only going to cost you ninety seven right. bucks for the year. Mm-hmm. And if you're working on a client site uh, or you're selling a product, right. you, I mean, you're selling memberships. That's what yeah. this is all about. Yeah. For, mm-hmm. for some, you know, you've got something that people want to sign up for. Right. A community, a forum, right. some kind of premium content. So you're right. making money or you're at least capturing eyeballs right. for something. That 97 bucks isn't a whole hell of a lot of money right. and to, we're, to do this. And even so, worst case scenario, you download the plugin for free and hate it. Right. Well, whatever. You didn't pay anything for it. Where you could get into a situation here where you pay $200 for a plugin that's going to do memberships, but you're missing a feature or a key feature that you want. And now you just paid two hundred bucks, non refundable, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, and that's like that for everyone. That we're no, you're not not yeah. just uh, yeah. you're not just Jason's, but for every plugin yeah, yeah, yeah. that's out there. I mean, that's what we hope it to be. I mean, yeah. you're you're hoping you're getting that quality, of course, uh, that quality support. Um, you know, I reached out in the last episode. We talked um, about uh, uh, membership, uh, simple membership plugin mm-hmm. uh, or Magic Members. I'm sorry, sure. Uh, against WP hyphen member member. <laughs> Um, and when I reached out, uh, to the magic members, they were, you know, I showed them out, showed them the episode, said it was great. They yeah. said, Hey, we'll even offer you a free, right. a free, you know, year. And you know, it's, it's, it's good to connect with these other organizations Absolutely. that are out there, uh, and, and that want to help you out. So, so. <laughs> I like paid membership pro. Yes. Um, I haven't tried the pro plugin from Pippins yet. Yeah, I like right. what he's doing for free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just not mm-hmm. enough if somebody's yeah. really tr- out there yeah. trying to start their membership site. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like mem- paid membership pro, and it you're going to have that slight edge above Magic Members because it is free. Try yeah. it out. Maybe start with paid membership pro. If yeah. there's something you really don't like about it, I'm sure if you reach out to Jason, he would yeah. help you. If not, yeah. you know, in my eyes, I, I still think. Um, that the um, Magic Members is still is still a great plugin. Yeah, absolutely. Still might have the lead. I think Magic Members is a slight lead right now. But. Yeah, <laughs> just a slight lead. Yeah. Um, so that's it. I mean, if, if anyone wants to see any other membership plugins, do let us know. Do subscribe. Uh, mm-hmm. SiliconStudio.com slash subscribe. Mm-hmm. SiliconStudio.com slash blog. blog. And we're going to continue the membership plugin roundup extravaganza yeah extravaganza we're going to bring you more stuff uh maybe having that final bout in the next episode sure we're just winding down yeah yeah. so let us know what you want to see next guys thanks a lot thanks guys